going. Today's video is a little bit different. I wanted to share with you my home office tour. So the thing is, I've always, always, always wanted office room in my house. And this is the first time in my life that I get that wish. I've always had a desk somewhere in the house and because we have moved houses I could spare this room for the office which makes me so happy. I'm really really glad that this came together this way. I really really am thankful to God of course and to my husband who let me have the bigger room for the office. This office as you will see is budget friendly. It's not that expensive, nothing extravagant. I just tried to put it together in a way that functions for me. I just wanted to take you on a tour in my new office. So if you have been on my channel for a while right now, I have a video about space planning and in that video I pulled up a plan for the house that I had my eye on and thank god we got a better deal so our house right now is a better layout but everything remained the same the functions i needed remain the same there's few things that changed for example instead of the chair i opted for a chaise long and it, d it depends on what you need like as i lived in the space i realized oh i need to kind of put my feet up and I wanted a chaise long and I found some space for it so anyways you're going to see the space right now I'm gonna give you a tour within the space but if you're gonna do this if you are gonna renovate or if you are moving to another house please take the time to study your function if you're not gonna do anything else that you want to do in that space before you go out and buy things which will help you with your budgeting it will help you with buying things that you only need which will help you on the long term as well without further ado let's just jump into it so as you enter you see the walk-in closet and this area dress up pick up my outfit and everything so this is fully my closet and right now it's actually 6 45 the first thing you see as you enter you see the vanity area so this is where i sit to do my makeup honestly this mirror is not doing much because i like to do my makeup close and personal like i like mirror right up my face to see everything i have right here humidifier I put different essential oils whether it's night time or morning time currently i have lavender and eucalyptus i only use natural oils because i think it's better for your health also since this desk is also my makeup desk this is where i keep all the makeup i don't have anything fancy here i just have this utensils tray that i turned into a makeup organizer and most of my brushes they need to be washed and this is the rest of this stuff and here are the apple watch straps i need to organize them better to be honest and as you enter the room, so on your right, there is the light switches and the AC and unfortunately I can't do anything with it. And then I have the Billy bookcase in dark red. I love the Billy case in dark red. It's my favorite color. I keep a few decoration pieces in there. Here I have some letters and they're preserved in this box that Lena got me. And I have my mama's necklace, my shears in peace. Down here, I have more like coffee table books, books that I really, really love. So I have this little uh, statue sculpture thingy that I really love. I've never owned a Chanel yet in my life, but I did take the box from one of my friends. I wanted to do some DIY things with it, but I just thought it would be nicer like this. In these two boxes, I have ribbons and things for DIY. I have a copy of my first notebook that I made, one extra notebook. If this is the first time you're on my channel, welcome, hi, please subscribe if you want to. And uh, I have written this book and it's called the Interior Design Styles Lookbook. I'm very proud of it. If you want, you can buy it from Amazon or from my website, whatever you please. Or you can just follow me on Instagram and see what, what there is about this book. I don't know what to say you guys, it's hard to self-promote, okay? Here I have more inspirational books and I have some notebooks as well. Down here is my interior design shelf. So here is all of the catalogs of furniture stores. Here are some catalogs for flooring. Here are all the catalogs for the bathrooms and kitchen books from different brands. And I really, really love having those because they're very useful when you're working on a project. Down here I have some more samples. I have a lot of other samples inside of these boxes. I have the color swatches fan and I have a few other marble samples and things like that. So 
So my favorite part of the room is actually this sofa. If and when, when I'm doing some editing, it's actually nice to have a place where you can sit with your feet up because it takes hours. And if you go here, this is a painting by my talented friend Nada. I'll leave her details here. I have this tray to go on top of it. And then I can put the laptop on and do my thing. Legs. So what I did with the legs is actually I ordered those golden legs from Amazon. I replaced the legs myself and now it looks so much better. On this side, I have my desk. There's some stuff here that I have to have. <laughs> So the lighting, it's not on right now, but the lighting for our YouTube videos, because I wanted to make things faster. I want to make more videos. And that's how it looks like when it's in use. This is the uh, lighting that I use for a YouTube video. I also have the window that has a lighting. And finally, my camera and tripod. I can definitely fold it up and put it somewhere, but I just want to be more efficient. So my husband doesn't like to work here. He likes to work in the living room, understandably so. But we, he has a chair anyway, if he wants to sit and work. We have a double-sided thing that, that's going on. He can sit here, I can sit here, and we can work. Especially if we're working on a project together. This mouse pad thing is very useful because I work with my mouse a lot. Here are some notebooks that I have. As you turn around, you're going to see my white erase board I bought from Ikea. It's a new product and I really love it because it's magnetic but you can still write on it and I definitely love that. I like to write whatever is going on in my head. It's like a brain dump sort of situation. Okay, I know there's some white space here and I'm planning to get a screen later on to put there. So I'm just going to wait on it. So this is where the desk is and if you turn around you get to the coffee station and the printing station and crafting station basically that's what you see first of all you see a basket these are my prayer clothes and my prayer mat my coffee mugs here's my coffee jar it's instant coffee but i enjoy instant coffee and i know it's not the best for you i realize this machine was a really great investment because it gives you hot water gives you boiling it's all in Chinese, so I can't read it. I like how it looks, and this matters a lot to me. On this side of the room, I have... I showed this on Instagram, actually. So I have this board where I can hang inspirational things and a few pictures. And here is my handy-dandy charging station with a candle next to it. Because I have an Apple Watch, I can just put it here and it charges. And also I have a few slots here to have my phone and someone else's phone if they want and leave everything behind me while I'm working so I don't get distracted as well. So it was completely intentional. Over here is also my speaker that my best friend Nada gifted for me and I love it. It's from Kate Spade, it's gorgeous. And here we have a small table with a vase and pampas and a roll of paper. This table is a kitchen unit and if you open it up, you're gonna see some snacks and coffee mate and things like that. <laughs> so I have a few things hidden here, some boxes, things like that, with clips, paper clips, things like that. And I have the Cricut machine here and I have some wires down with some accessories for the Cricut machine. In the other, other door, the printing machine is here with all the paper on top of it and the ink next to it. So everything is convenient. It makes it so much easier to look at things. I love the Cricut machine, but it doesn't go with, with the room. And honestly, it's nicer this way. It's product, protected as well from the dust and things like that. And on the door itself, I have a hook from Ikea. Those low price hooks that are really cool. And down there, I have a few books, a few memory boxes. I have some rolls for the quick cut machine. I have the cases for the boss, um, headphones, things like that. Those rice cakes are amazing. I don't know if you enjoy rice cakes, but I do. On top, there's a drawer. And what I have here is some extra stock from my sticker collection that I printed. Um, before, a few pens for the Cricut machine, measuring tape, things like that, double-sided tape. I have my vitamins, <laughs> just some miscellaneous stuff, but I, I, it's like an organized chaos, so I'm, I'm all right with it being this way. Some milk packets that I have, I have that I got from McDonald's. Watch, watch this, okay? So I'm gonna shake this because of the door. She's like, what? You're playing with sugar without me? 
One, two. She, anyway, she comes at the sound. She comes at anything that's shaking sound. By the way, in case you don't know, I got a kitten and her name is Sophie. She's very spoiled. She's a brat. Now, as you're sitting on the desk, there are a few things that are, you know, essential to you while you're working. And I'm going to give you a tour in my drawers. Honestly, I didn't clean. I just, you know, tidied up the drawer. So here I have some highlighters. I have some post-it notes. I have some planners. I have scissors. I have the color wheel thingy. I have a Fusidine, <laughs> which is an antibiotic cream because uh, Sophie had the ringworms and I had the ringworms too. So I, I also have Panadol because sometimes if I have a headache, I can just grab it and have it. Um, I have this little case that I keep all of my teeny tiny trinkets in for the camera and whatnot. And also the dry erase marker is here so I can take it and write. In this drawer I have uh, pencil cases, I have some few also dry erase stuff and I have some sketching pens, some regular pens, some more accessories for the boards and things like that, a calculator, so like your ordinary things. Um, this also was something that I was gonna sell so I was testing different covers for the phone. Still working on that. For this drawer, I have my hard disk here. I have my softly studio stuff in here. Honestly, I'm scared of using them because they're so pretty. Copic markers inside of the, these boxes. Sticky notes. Very organized, but I know what's happening. So here is like the electronic drawer, more or less. So I have the power bank. I have the wireless keyboard. I have a lot of hard drives here. For the last drawer, it's literally a junk drawer. What's the deal with this cat? I love you. Over this side, if you open it up, I have all of my up oh, to close it down on its own. So I have my old uh, sketchbooks and I also have some important papers and some extra books that I keep because I need, but I never know when I'm gonna need them. If you check the light behind Sophie, I got it with a bulb the smart bulb that they sell in Ikea and I can change the color of the lighting and I can increase the intensity if I want to highly recommend it to be honest with you if this wasn't like a rented apartment I would have changed the flooring I would have made it into parquet I would have done a lot more so let me know down below if I should do a home tour regardless if it's a rental or not I'm really excited for that and I'm going to leave the detail of my agent I live in Town Square Dubai the detail of the real estate agent that I had because she was fantastic and um, maybe you can contact her if this is what you're already looking for and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed I really enjoyed filming this so I hope you guys enjoyed watching and have a lovely time of the day wherever you are in the world goodbye